Heavy fighting has erupted in eastern Ukraine after the 10-day ceasefire was called off. Ukraine's president says he is resuming an offensive to protect his country's territorial integrity and safeguard the lives of civilians. CCTV's Stephanie Fried is in Kiev with the latest. A week and a half long ceasefire halted decisively by Ukraine's president. We will advance and we will liberate our land. Non-renewal of the ceasefire is our answer to the terrorists, rebels and looters. President Poroshenko wasted no time. Within hours, Ukraine's military was back on the offensive. And civilians were once again caught in the middle. Brother is fighting against brother. There are no pro-Russian checkpoints here at all. Here are patrol stations. Look what the Ukrainian army did. As Ukraine air and ground assaults resumed, four civilians were reportedly killed in the city of Kramatorsk when the bus they were traveling in came under fire. Fighting was also reported in the border town Luhansk and also in the east's most populous city, Donetsk. It appears the fighting will only ratchet up as Ukraine's government attempts to wrest control of cities currently controlled by armed militia in the east. Also ratcheting up, the pressure on Russian President Vladimir Putin, who the West accuses of fueling the fire by sending weapons and men across the border to bolster the militia. Accordingly, the EU's 28 member states are currently drafting a new round of sanctions against Russia. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Kiev, Ukraine.